to a new video. Why am I doing my intro in here? Well, I will be taking you to the stadium just very shortly. I did film this video about a week or two ago at Salford, and uh, yeah, a couple of things have changed um, since I filmed it. There were still a couple of games or one or two games left of the season before. I filmed this video, or whilst I was filming this video rather, the season is now finished and Salford finished 8th, just two points outside of the playoff places in League 2 with um, yeah an amazing goal difference as well. So one or two more results that would have gone their way through the season and I'm sure they would have reached the playoffs. But basically Salford City are a team that have risen through the leagues in England from non-league obscurity to the National League and to the EFL, the English Football League, in really no time at all. Ryan Giggs, David Beckham, Nicky Butt, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Paul Scholes, and Peter Lim, a Singaporean businessman, all own stakes in the club and um, yeah, I'm sure that a lot of you watching this video today will know Salford purely down to their really famous owners. And the beauty of the English Football League is that teams such as Salford City can rise through the ranks and reach the holy grail of English football, the Football League. So yeah, they've gone from like really regional leagues and which I will be taking you through when I get to the stadium just shortly in this video and we go back. I'll leave this studio and take you back to the actual vlog. We will get there shortly. But yeah, they, um, the beauty of the English Football League system is that you can rise through the ranks. Of course, they have had a cash injection. We've seen teams like Berry move out of the Football League and literally out of existence as well in some cases with some clubs. And uh, yeah, while that's sad to see, that does open up opportunities for new clubs to come in to the English Football League. Do let me know what your thoughts are on the new clubs that have come into the leagues, the Salfords, the Barrows, the Harrogates, and uh, yeah, what you think about, you know, the Berries who have fallen out of the divisions in recent years and Hartlepool and stuff like that, these old classic teams that have, yeah, no longer, they're now no longer in the, uh, the English Football League. Yeah, do let me know your thoughts. Do remember to hit that little like button down there, that little thumbs up button, it really does help. Subscribe as well if you aren't already. I'd absolutely love to see you here more often to watch a bit more of my content. Anyway, it's about time we left my studio now and went back in time to the video. I hope you enjoy. So yeah, as you can see now, look, we're at the Peninsula Stadium, which has uh, been renovated recently. Look, here is the badge, or similar to the badge anyway, of uh, of Salford City, the new badge here. And um, it's actually quite reminiscent to the Prem one, isn't it, with a lion? Looks a bit Premier League-ish. But yeah, here we are now at the uh, Peninsula Stadium. I'm sure you know and you've heard of this football club due to uh, the class of 92 and Peter Lim and the takeover and all that kind of stuff. But what was happening before that? Well, the club were formed in the 1940s. In 1940, they uh, were found as a club called Salford City. Central Mission, but they changed their name just to Salford Central in 1947. Throughout their earliest times, they were playing like smaller localized leagues. They joined the Manchester Football League in the 60s, and uh, that competition currently should still be running, but um, yeah, it's been null and voided for the last couple of seasons for obvious reasons. Non-league trophies like the Lancashire Amateur Cup were won during the 70s. The 80s brought about this club joining the Cheshire County League, which would eventually merge to become the Northwest Counties League. In 1989, they changed their name for a third time to Salford City. They've had one amazing relegation escape uh, down the years in their non-league years, which was known as the Great Escape by fans. And in 2014, the class of 92 took over. And here I am now, look, this gate's open. Let's see if I can uh, take a quick sneak peek at the pitch. But yeah, class of 92 took over in 2014. And uh, one of them actually mentioned in an interview that he wanted to see this club in the championship within 15 years. And look, you can see right into the pitch through there. What does it say down here? You don't just support a team, you belong to it. And yeah, look, you can see right in through here, to be fair. Let's have a quick look. There we go, look, there is the pitch of Salford City, the club owned by the likes of Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Beckham and Peter Lim. As all the regular viewers will know, I absolutely love to explore stadiums and uh, yeah, at least here, look, you can see in and stuff. Absolutely mad, but yeah, here you go. Look, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. All these inspirational quotes to try and inspire the players to get promoted even further. But speaking about their promotions, where have, uh, how have they got into the league so quickly from where they were, the Northwest Counties Leagues? I'll tell you that in just a sec, but just look at the floodlights a minute. Look, even them, even the floodlights are kind of in the shape of, uh, of the new badge. I love the branding. Just look at all this. Look, as you can see through the pitch there, look, they've got the badges here. This is class. The old black and red, of course, is a nod to uh, the colours of Man United and uh, the influence there from the class of 92. But the club have had quite the rise in recent years. Anthony Johnson and Bernard Morley, the, uh, the managerial duo, took... Um 
took this team up through the non-league divisions in such quick timing. They won the Northern Premier League Division 1 in 2015. They won the Northern Premier League Premier Division playoff in 2016. That got them to the uh, National League North. They won the National League North in 2018. And then that obviously got them into the National League, the conference as it was uh, known back in the day, of course. So yeah, Graham Alexander was then um, brought in as manager to replace the managerial duo who had taken them so far. But um, yeah, Graham Alexander, he uh, managed the club in the National League playoff final against AFC Fylde. Fylde, I was there recently for a video. So yeah, do check that vid out, please. I really appreciate it if you haven't already. But yeah, they beat Fylde in the uh, National League playoff 3-0 convincingly to get to the um, to get to the promised land, to get to the EFL. And here they've been there ever since here at the Peninsula Stadium. They even won the EFL trophy, otherwise known as the Johnson's paint or the LDV vans or um, what else? The Papa John's trophy. They've won that at the first time of asking. Of course, you have to be a lower league EFL club for that. And they won it in their first ever season. They were holders for an entire day as um, yeah, the weirdness of uh, the current situation that we all find ourselves in um, continues. And uh, yeah, they only were holders for a day because of the fixture congestion. They had to play the 2020 final in 2021 and then the 2021 final got played literally a day later. So Salford beat Pompey on, on pens one day. I think it was on the 13th of March and on the 14th of March, Sunderland had beaten Tranmere. So yeah, they held it for about a day and uh, yeah, quite amazing really. But yeah, look here, there's some stickers on the wall of, uh, on the um, lamppost rather of people who have been here from different clubs from Walsall to Burton a couple of uh, yeah Midland clubs there outside the Peninsula Stadium so yeah as you can see from a few of those stickers they've swapped the North Witches and the Curzon Ashtons and the Fylds for the Walsalls and the Burtons of the world and before the takeover they actually played in Tangerine and I think a few of the fans it was a bit of a contentious issue that they didn't want to change to red but um, I think just for like remember when Cardiff changed from blue to red I think sometimes owners want a change when they come in, I guess it makes them more appealing to a wider audience. I'm not sure. I'm sure that was probably the reason behind it. Plus, obviously, the influence of uh, of the class of '92. And now, yeah, they're kind of sort of a mini Man United, aren't they? I'm sure a lot of Man United fans like to kind of look out for the Salford results, just based on you know who the owners are and what the colour scheme is and how closely linked it is to uh, the Red Devils. They've even got the new badge, which I touched on um, just as I was like looking at like the little stairways and stuff which have like the badge connected to it which is actually really nice to see a nice branded stadium like that obviously they've pumped money into the stadium to reinvigorate it and improve the facility slightly but um yeah their new badge there as you can see on screen just now is said to uh bring the club in a more in a bolder and more forward facing position with the class of 92 and uh coaches like warren joyce and uh the financial backing of peter lim how far can salford city go so yeah at the time of recording this they are just in the playoff places of league two um so yeah yeah, it'll be interesting to see when this goes up where they are but also yeah if you're watching this in a year six months time to see uh, if they are in league one or the championship or yeah rising up through the, the divisions even more it is looking good for the club who are probably used to success by now with all the back-to-back -back promotions and up through the non-leagues in pretty quick time um, but yeah they've gone from non-league to EFL trophy winners in absolutely no time at all how far can this club go please do let me know in the comments below what you think about Salford and how far you reckon they can go in the football league please also remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and pass the vlog on to someone else i'll leave some videos around my head as ever so you can keep watching my content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one